this, I'm sitting with the president of the university. Is this, who would have thought it? Who would have thought this? You know, if you live long enough, good things happen. <laughs> what do you want to say? Justin, wonderful boy. Proud of you. Papa? My boy. You are my boy. Let me tell you. How many bagels can you make from 60,000 pounds of flour? Oh my God. Does anybody want to guess? <laughs> Should I spell it? One million. One million. They would be bagel lights. They would be like small bagels. The answer is 240,000. So when you go home, the next cocktail party, you ask the question, you look really smart. No wonder how you know. And you'll know because you were at an event where some of the finest bagel makers were honored. The answer, 240,000, is just one of the many pieces of bagel wisdom accumulated by today's honorees, Cliff Norquist and James O'Connell, class of 1990. These two former Southern classmates founded Just Bagels Company in 1992. And in the years since, Just Bagels has grown into a celebrated New York City institution. An accomplishment that makes Cliff and Jay worthy recipients of our annual Distinguished Alumnus Award. The Just Bagel Bakery is located in Hunts Point, an industrial neighborhood in the South Bronx that is the hub for a multitude of wholesale food manufacturers. The bakery, which turns out more than 15 varieties and 18,000 bagels a day, but I think it's more now. It's 300,000. 300,000. You know why that is? I, they, I just learned today. See, when you sit next to your own reason, it's really good. Um, they they uh, were growing at a nice steady pace, like good entrepreneurs uh, growing their business. And they had an opportunity that, project, that provided uh, to them within this last year, and their business just uh, shot right up. So the number went from 18,000 to 300,000, that's known as growth, um, for, and again, for their old-fashioned style bagels. And they're made, they're made with what I've learned is a critically important step. How many of you like bagels, by the way? See? That's when you know you're in the right business. Many companies steam their bagels to save time. Just Bagels boils them in a traditional water bath. It's an old world winning approach that quickly had customers lined up around the block, and we know how particular New Yorkers are about their bagels. They were certainly popular at my previous institution in the Bronx, Lehman College, uh, where we were very much aware of the good work being done in Hunts Point and by our Southern alums at Just Bagels. The rest of the country, and again, not just the country, but the world, soon followed New York City's lead. Just Bagels not only serves New York, but it serves the entire United States, and wherever you are in the world, France, India, Japan, China, they now sell in China, you can purchase Just Bagels product line. In 2006, the company was recognized as one of New York's top entrepreneurs by Cranes Communications. Just Bagels had clearly arrived. But like many entrepreneurs, Cliff and James did not have an easy road to success. Cliff, who attended Southern on a football scholarship, graduated with a degree in communication. He worked in several fields before going into business for himself, opening a bagel store with a partner. And before I introduce the rest of the partners, I think I'd like to actually call Cliff and James up so you can see them as I read these accolades about them. So James, come on up too. <laughs> Several weeks into his new venture, his partner left. It wasn't anything about Cliff, by the way. And then opened a competing bagel shop about a mile away. That's when Cliff, undeterred, undeterred, energized by the challenge, turned to his southern friend and former roommate. James O'Connell was also a former Owls athlete, a member of the wrestling team who served as team captain. And my athletic uh, representatives here, and I know there's a number of you, uh, will be the first to say that athletics is 
an extraordinary training coupled with the education we provide to success in life uh, with the perseverance that it, it, it provides. After majoring in criminology, he had set his sights on becoming a U.S. Marshal. Then he received a call from Cliff. James paid a visit to the factory, and I understand they give tours, so you all should pay a visit to the factory. Liked what he saw and bought into the business. Today he is responsible for all bakery operations. Cliff serves as president and oversees sales and customer service. A third partner, Charlie Contreras, later came on board. He is not, alas, a Southern alumnus, but we will claim him as an honorary owl. <laughs> but he has worked with Cliff and James to help Just Bagels become the highly successful enterprise it is today. With clients that include Starbucks. Any of you like Starbucks? Do you eat the bagels there? Just bagels. At any Starbucks you go to, it is just bagels. Fresh Direct and the New York landmark Grace's Marketplace. And now the company has expanded, as I said, internationally. As its slogan says, bagels ain't bagels unless they're just you know, bagels. There you go. The finest old-fashioned water bagels anywhere. And now it seems everywhere. Please join me in congratulating two extraordinary Southern success stories, our 2012 Distinguished Alumni, Cliff Norquist and James O'Connor.
the store, I want to do this, but I, I, can I do this? And I always say the same thing. And this is the truth. You can do or be anything you want to be in America. There's no question about it. You just have to go get it. So thank you very much.